This presentation offers tips and suggestions for improving writing for college audiences. The most important thing to remember about writing is your audience. Different audiences bring different expectations to what they read. If your audience is your friends, you use slang, you use informal conversational language when talking to them, sending them text messages, sending them letters written with your fountain pen. The language and diction you use with your family is different. If you are writing to readers of epic fantasy novels, those readers have very specific expectations about the way the characters speak, the way they interact, the plot lines and storylines, and writers of these kinds of novels pay close attention to that, whether consciously or unconsciously. Similarly, your college professors have various expectations for the kind of writing that comes in front of them. All this is to prepare you for going out into the world of work where professional colleagues have similar expectations for what they expect to see in the kind of writing that you do. Those expectations can vary among different disciplines and different programs. That's the goal of English 102 is to get you ready for the kind of writing you will see out in the professional world. A shorthand tip for academic writing. Avoid the first and second person. Those are the pronouns I, me, you, and your. Avoid contractions. Instead of saying your, say you are. Instead of saying can't, say cannot. Avoid slang and informal expressions. Don't describe the argument of the writer as the bee's knees. Instead, describe it as well thought out. Academic writing typically requires some kind of manuscript style. It could be American Psychological Association style. It could be Modern Language Association or Chicago style, depending on the discipline. Typically, you are required to document sources. Any content that you've taken from another source and placed in your paper, you have to acknowledge that you have done so. You typically provide a list of references or a works cited page at the end of the document. Accompanying this presentation is a link to a short guide to academic writing style that was created by the Thompson Writing Program at Duke University. This guide offers some very helpful suggestions about avoiding colloquial language, using the passive voice, reducing your use of the split infinitives, use of page numbers, and other tips. Look through it carefully. Concise writing should be efficient. Use as few words as possible. It should be clear. Your readers should be able to understand exactly what you're saying. It should be direct. It should get right to the point you want to say. This is a joke. Issue obfuscation, espouse elucidation. Very few readers will understand what those words mean. Good, efficient, academic writing does not need to use long, fancy words that no one understands. Instead, good, clear, precise prose say exactly what you mean. The paramedic method is one strategy for creating good, concise writing. Follow these directions to circle prepositions, the verb is. Consider this example. The revision, this paragraph demonstrates good style and reports, is a much more efficient and clearly worded sentence. In 1918, William Strunk published The Elements of Style. This book has been republished in many editions subsequently and offers a classic window into good, efficient writing. The 1918 edition that accompanies this presentation offers helpful tips on usage as well as great suggestions about principles of composition. While nearly a hundred years old, this treatise on good writing is still applicable today. These recommendations on paragraph construction are excellent. Keep them in heart, great suggestions about efficient use of topic sentences and other suggestions about paragraph formation. As is recommended by the paramedic method, use the active voice. Take to heart this recommendation for specific concrete language. To quote from the source, vigorous writing is concise. 
A sentence should contain no unnecessary words. A paragraph, no unnecessary sentences. This tip about parallel construction can really make your writing sound better. Yes, be sure to watch tense in your writing. Perhaps the most important tip I can offer is to read final drafts aloud. Listen to the words that you use. Ask yourself if it makes sense, if it is clear. Your goal isn't so much to impress somebody by your command of fancy words no one understands, but rather to say clearly and efficiently your main point. Thank you.